Um, so tonight, I just want us to talk for a moment about turning those things, or God, for instance, turning those things that we called hobbies, turning those things, those little ideas that we thought were so novel, into ministry. Uh, I, 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 I struggled with this for a moment because I was looking at you guys and saying, yes, God is asking you to do that. But then he came back, up, as he always does, to me and said, wait a minute, how about you? And I'm like, what now, Lord? Every time I'm trying to talk to you, people, you're always talking to me. Said, that's how it goes, son. And <laughs> that's actually how it goes for real. And, 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 and I'm saying, well, what? I'm, I'm in church and, and I'm doing things. And even as I was preparing, he said, your preparation that you've been doing, you've been doing it because you had a certain rhythm and rhyme that matched the church building. Are y'all following me? Uh, you had a certain uh, um, a time frame. So typically during the course of the week, I'm more preparing for Sunday than anything else. But God is saying, when did I give you this word? I said, well, you gave it to me today, sir, but I'm trying to you know, hold it off till Sunday. And he's like, why? Because that became my novelty, if you will. That became just my pattern because of how we were doing things. But since he's throwing things all upside down, he's saying, no, you're not getting it. Sometimes we just don't understand. He said, when I give it to you, that's when I want you to give it to my people. When I told you it in the beginning, if, I have a, if you have a prophecy, if you have a word, you don't need to wait any longer until we open the house. You, you need to be doing it right now from your house. I was like, oh. I'm a little slow, I admit that. Sometimes I just don't get what God is saying. That he has more and more to give us. The time is getting late. We don't have time uh, to set up all these programmatic uh, 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 structures any longer. We don't have time for us to sit around and, and program how the Spirit is going to move. The Spirit moves as He will. I wish I had a, a, a witness this evening. The Spirit is going to do through us what it wants to do, when it wants to do it. It could be midnight tonight, and if God puts somebody on your heart, then that's who, what you're supposed, who you're supposed to talk to, and guess when you're supposed to do it? Right then. We have, we have kind of programmed God out of moving us in the way he wants to move us because we, you know, it's not the right timing. It's not the right day. It's not the right season. But you know what? Right now, this is the season for every child of God to work, every child of God to do what God called you to do and do it now. Now, very often, we don't, you don't even know. I think if you go back in your mind, there was a time, and I could just talk for myself. Um, there was a time I was in church. It is amazing that I even am sitting here right now because um, I was the guy who couldn't even testify in church. I couldn't testify without stumbling over the words. I couldn't, no, I couldn't shout and dance. So I just sat in the corner and tried to be cool, trying to look like I was cool. But it wasn't I was so cool, I just couldn't participate. Everybody else had a cool step. If I did it, I looked awkward and I was embarrassed. And so I, I couldn't talk right. Uh, my family, they were, they were wonderful talkers and, they, and so everybody, so I felt insignificant. So what I would do is I would just write stuff down. I always wrote stuff down because I didn't know how else to express and I never even gave anybody my writings. I was very uh, close and guarded with my writings for many, many years. Now, over these last 20 years or so, what I did to free myself from that, every sermon I've ever done on every Sunday, I write it out first. I write it out. I don't even read it on Sunday, but I just have it as my crutch. I have it as something that I need. Now, 2020, all of a sudden, I have all these sermons over 20 years. Let me see, that's 52 weeks time two. That's 104 weeks. So let's just, let's just say I got 100, at least 100 different sermons that I've written that for reasons I don't even know. But God knew. He knew this day would be here. He knew good and well that there would come a time when I'd have to release these things. Oh, I hope I'm helping somebody. I guarantee you that most of you here on this call, on this screen, you have done something years ago. It might be in the back drawer somewhere. It might be in the basement that you started doing. You don't know why you started doing it. That's what God said. That's what I have it for today. It was for 2020. You thought it was for 1988. You thought it was for 1994. But it was for today. That poem you wrote, that song you wrote, 
that 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 those things you knitted, those that that re the reason why you have that skill set now to paint and the skill. He's saying that's what I want to use right now. This is the time. This is the season for your gifting to come into fruition. I'm like, oh Lord, this is so huge. Cause now when you have one church in one spot, he has hundreds, hundreds of thousands of us out here working individually, all gifted. Uh, did you hear our scripture tonight? First Corinthians said we have diversity of gifts, unity and diversity. As diverse as our gifts are, there are that many uh, different, oh God, that many different ministries. And so if there are a thousand of us, even today, if there are a hundred of us on this particular call on, on, on Facebook or on, on, on the camera, if we get a hundred, that's a hundred different ministries. We were struggling to keep four or five in the church, weren't we? But now we have hundreds because you are called. I'm called. Everybody on this, you know, we're all called to do what we're supposed to do and when we're supposed to do it. Right now. God has something for us to do right now. And it doesn't have to be what you thought it was. We don't have to make room for you. What the Bible says, what your gift will make room for you. Not necessarily in the pulpit. Not necessarily on the choir stand. Not necessarily ushering, but guess what? Your gift will make room for you. Some people are just prone to writing cards and, and doing things, lovely things that will bless somebody. Bless somebody today with the gift God has given you. This is going to be our theme all week long, so I don't have to feel compelled to get it all out today. I want us to just, just feast on that for a moment, Lord. And then if you're not sure what it is, if you're not certain, this is a great time to pray, isn't it? Oh God, let's stay before him. Lord, how to do that? What to do? I'm looking now, I made a list of, of, of those things. We have people in our church who are, are very prone to doing um, um, digital stuff, right? Um, we, uh, I, don't, I don't like calling people's name out in public, but we, you know who you are. And we have folk who, and, and, and that do, uh, that were always technologically savvy from a child. They just knew how to do stuff. And everybody goes to them, how do you set up this? Listen, I'm just going on a list of new things we've done since this coronavirus. We have the Antioch640.org, right? That's a company's church spring. We have Facebook Live that you're on now, right? We have text in church, uh, which will be sending out uh, to you um, um, blasts from what's going on in the church should you, uh, um, should you allow us. Um, Zoom. They're having Zoom Sunday school, right? We're having a Zoom meeting tomorrow. We have a Zoom meeting on Saturday with the women. Instagram, SoundCloud, Constant Contact, Smule, Tively, Tively. Um, I don't want us to forget that if, if the Lord should move upon you, you can give di digitally. My whole point is that we have all these tools because somebody that was somebody's hobby, hobby. Somebody the Lord had been dealing with years ago, back in the uh, Nintendo days, back in. <laughs> And uh, with some of the old gaming, back in the old days, they started and they kept up with it and God stayed in their spirit. And now look at them. They are blessed of God. Isn't that something? Isn't that wonderful people of God?